Mga tol, kamusta? Uh, review naman natin itong film na Sniper Assassin's End. Uh, ranking ito ngayon sa Netflix as of October 2021. Uh, ranking ito number 3. And it is a 2020 American action film directed by Carrie Andrews and starring by Chad Michael Collins, Tom Berenger, and Sayako Akimoto. The film Sniper Assassin's End is already the 8th installment of the Sniper film and it's a sequel of the Sniper Ultimate Kill na pinalabas a uh, year ago. I mean, the year 2020, 2017 pa. Actually, yung una ko talaga napanood sa Sniper series, Sniper uh, Reloaded, na pinalabas uh, last 2011. Tapos, nung channel ko sa Wikipedia, uh, ano na pala to? Ang dami na pala. Actually, Sniper Reloaded, it's the fourth installment. And uh, ang, ang line-up pala niyan, uh, Sniper really started back 1993 pa. And if you're in, if you've ever watched the film already, you will uh, notice na yung dalawang sniper doon na magagaling, yung is magtata yun. Yung sniper 1993 is ang lead character pa doon, yung tatay. Si, ano, si Sergeant uh, Thomas Beckett. Si Sniper Sergeant Thomas Beckett played by Tom Berenger. Ang gagaling kasi ng mga to eh. Ano nyo, if if you ever already watched the film, ang uh, galing nung kanilang mga strategy although the action uh, yung action medyo konti lang ng ano eh ng bakbakan kasi uh, snipers kasi were trained to position themselves uh, uh, much far away from the main battlefield now going back uh, yun nga nabangit ko kanina 8 installment na to so yung sniper yung 1993 sniper 2 2002 sniper 3 2004 yun ay, sniper reloaded 2011 tapos sniper legacy 2014 Sniper Ghost Shooter 2016, Sniper Ultimate Kill 2017, and ito na nga, Sniper Assassin's End na 2020, na 2020 pinalabas. Ang dami na ito mga directors na pinagdaanan, no, no? pero yung, yung storyline is parang ano naman, very very much consistent. Now, the plot of the story, itong kinikwento ko yung Sniper Assassin's End, is that si Special Ops Sniper Brandon Beckett, again played by Chad Michael Collins, were, were set up as a primary suspect for the murder of foreign dignitary on the eve you know, of a high of a signing of a high profile trade agreement with the United States. And yun mga nag set up sa kanya kasama din sa plan na patayin siya. Now when Beckett realizes na na he was set up and uh, na-realize din niya na parang wala siyang pagkakatiwalaan even na uh, even dun sa side niya sa side niya ang ginawa niya pumunta siya sa father niya uh, alam niyo yung nakakatawa sa tatay niya talagang very consistent yung tatay niya lagi lagi lang naghihintay sa kanya na na magfishing sila and it happens na kung kailan pupunta na sa noong anak niya eh yun nga magbabanding pa na sila kasi uh, nahabol nga tong ano si Brandon no Pina- na napatayin ngayon yung mga kalaban niya yung nag setup sa kanya ang pinaka-assassin na pinadala is a Japanese uh, Yakuza member uh, played by Sayako Akimoto. Ang tawag sa kanya doon, uh, Lady Death. So, ito si Lady Death, siya talaga yung pumatay doon sa US uh, or a foreign dignitary. Ayan, using yung kanyang high skill sniper uh, shooter. Ayan, magaling kasi siya. So, yung, yung skill niya doon sa sniping, katulad din nito ni ano ni uh, Brandon Beckett saka yung tatay niya. At uh, moving forward, doon nga na realize na ni Beckett na wala siyang pagkakatiwalaan even the government is uh, also part of the plan na patayin din siya. So, yun nga he, he go back to his father and then kuwento niya yung nangyari, and may konting 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 kwentuhan din. And uh doon na umikot yung story. So, the story uh, unfolds Uh, sino-sino yung mga members nung, nung gusto siyang patayin and it happens na uh, yung isa doon sa yung Russian mercenary si Drake Phoenix uh, played by Michael Johnson i- nakasama pala niya doon sa isa sa mga tour nila sa mga war tours nila now the film was released to Blu-ray, DVD and digital platform uh, last June 2020 and uh, yun nga, it reached number 1 on iTunes in September 2020 and right now October 2021 number 3 na sa Netflix and uh, alam nyo sa IMBD kasi this film was rated 5.4 over 10 and since mahilig ako sa mga war films ano, uh, siguro uh, just to 
provide justice kasi tagal na rin na sniper series uh, 6.5 to 7 percent ako o 6.5 to 7 over 10 ang rating na ibibigay ko diba? may kasi ako sa mga world films sa mga barila nila and uh, yun nga I'll give you some trivia na rin yung monik- moniker na Lady Death is parang likely reference to a uh, Russian uh, female sniper who happens to be a member of Soviet Union and lumaban sa World War II at uh, siya yung kilalang the most successful sniper na babae and historically um, recorded meron siyang around 309 confirmed kills and yung mga sniper kasi they were trained talaga yun nga as I mentioned earlier na dun sila malayo dun sa battlefield and meron sila mga terminologies like for example yung hide and uh, meron silang laging kasamang parang spotter yung spotter measure yung wind yung distance and all tapos yung main shooter yung sniper siya yung talagang magpupul ng trigger And uh, ang ganda ng kwento, ang ganda ng kwento. Uh, medyo gray lang sa akin yung character ni Agent Zero of Homeland Security kasi at the end of the film, uh, parang hindi klaro kung ano ba talaga yung pinaka-role niya. Although, al- although nag-investigate siya, pinuntahan niya yung pinaka-base ng kalaban, it happens parang, ewan ko, parang wala naman siyang silbi ha, ewan ko lang. And uh, hindi rin malino sa akin at sa end of the film kung ano nangyari kay Lady Death kasi parang, Agent Zero was supposed to offer her some, uh, siguro, trabaho or to be a member of the Homeland Security kasi si Lady Death hindi na makakabalik sa Japan kasi wanted na siya doon. But, uh, yun nga. In terms of pagiging realistic naman ng film, parang hindi rin ganun ka-realistic. Although, I'll give the no, the the justice to the the film. Kasi, uh, like naman any other films, yung muntik nang mamatay yung bida pero hindi na mamatay. There 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 uh, ano eh there is scenes talaga na malapit na mamatay yung ano eh yung bida si Brandon pero yun nga in hindi eh hindi talaga. Uh, but anyway, uh, the film is also good for a father and son relationship even though yung hiwala yung parents ni Brandon yung tatay niya because of the because of the nature of their work you know. Kailan lang umalis sa bahay eh. Uh, yeah. Uh, yun lang. And uh, sige, I, I'll uh, I leave all the comments and other comments for you guys. Uh, sana parang yung film. Maganda to, maganda. And uh, yun lang muna.